Hello everybody, here I am again, your old buddy Donnie from Miami, bringing you a variation on a previous video that I had already made, okay, featuring this uh, Imani 75-piece gift set from 1990 by Olmec. Uh, this is one of three variations because the first one that I showed you has the doll wearing a chartreuse of the shoulders gown okay um the and other outfits this second version has this this is the exact same doll okay but she's wearing a pink gown with ruffles and uh silver finger lifts gloves and um this is the pink outfit that she's wearing on the box okay so maybe this is the original gown that they intended for her to wear and then i guess they just um ran out of it and that's why they dress her in the chartreuse okay now that i already showed you in another video there's a third variation of this gift set where the doll comes dressed in a blue uh a blue outfit blue dress that has ruffles i don't have that variation of the gift set maybe i'll get it someday and i definitely would make a video of it so here we go again you know with pretty miss imani okay you know, with these uh, hoop earrings, which I'm crazy about. Okay, um, what can I say? Uh, oh yeah, she comes with these boots, these yellow boots, you know, that are cute. Obviously cloned from Barbie's boots, because it's quite obvious they were cloned, you know. Um, but nevertheless, you know, I think that's part of her charm, okay. Um, she brings these adorable um, earrings, that have a, a little palm tree embossed in them. I love it, you know. This generic uh, clutch silver purse that so many clone and competitor dolls bring. Um, vacuum pumps, um, open toe mules, okay. All very, very colorful, okay. Um, this little green dress, which, eh, it, it's okay. This uh, yellow and orange ensemble, which I like very much. This blouse, eh, it's a little too plain for me. And this red uh, mini skirt could also be used as a halter top. I guess it can go with this with this top. The accessories, again, just like um, the other set, include coat hangers, shoes, uh, brushes, um, boots, phones, um, record players, yeah, because again, this is 1990. I'm not gonna get her outside her liner, you know, um, yeah, because, well, you know, I, in the interest of time, I don't wanna bore you. I just wanted to show her to you so that if you see her, you know, <coughs> you won't be surprised that she doesn't match, um, the other, uh, the other box set. You see, one of the things that I that I noticed about Imani that um, is if you if you look carefully, a lot of her outfits um, are sold with the dolls, but also a lot of those outfits are sold separately, the same outfits. You know, it's not like Barbie or Gem that they had separate lines for for outfits the doll to wear, for separate outfits to be sold individually on blister packages. No. For some reason, Imani, uh, her wardrobe, pretty much her entire wardrobe, you can you can find either with the doll um, in a gift set such as this or in a blister package, you know. Um, was that um, an oversight or a strategy of marketing? Who knows? Who knows? Um, I believe it's um, overproduction. Maybe they made too many. And they figured, well, you know, we don't have boxes or dolls to sell them with, so let's sell the outfits separately, you know? So that was, you know, probably it. Anyways, I have taken enough of your time. Uh, thank you all for watching. Um, here's Donnie Dulanto and Miss Imani by Old Mac from 1990, you know, wishing you a great day and may all your dolly wishes come true. Bye-bye for now.